Oh, if you're not at arts at home, come on, chair, please. Good dog, come on. I don't know. Good morning, and I'm watching that QK. At the time he was seven months old and he used to just go out in the garden and I could quite easily call him when I needed him to come back and you know keep him in for his meals and everything. But he didn't actually come back this one day, which surprised me. So I waited and I was a bit concerned overnight and I was sure he'd be there in the morning, but he wasn't. So I I was getting upset by this. So I, I, I put the posters up hoping somebody would come forward but they didn't and that's when Tom he rang and asked me if I'd like the help of animal search well I hadn't heard of animal search um, and I said yes please please anything <laughs> oh I was very relieved that there'd be somebody who could help me because you know just a few homemade posters in the village you don't know whether you're gonna get anything and after a week's time you know having not found him and he hadn't come back. I was getting really concerned. And this was like a godsend. Tom uh, arranged for me to have posters and leaflets. We did go around the village door to door trying to see if anybody had remembered seeing him. It obviously did the trick because, you know, if you have these posters with a free phone number, people see it. And this is what happened. The, the, the farmer who found him saw his photograph and thought, that looks like the cat that I saw in my barn. And obviously they rang, you know, the, the number, the free phone number. But I was just over the moon, absolutely. Because um, otherwise you can't just expect a kitten who's seven months old to come back on their own, so. I mean, you do sometimes hear of it, but I think really having animal search was, was the answer. And I, I, I really believe it. <laughs>